welcome to uh, the next uh, feature from Cinema Art 15. And uh, this time it's very interesting because uh, it's a bit sad too, because the Netrunner is gone. Dun, 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 Yeah, the Netrunner. Uh, this little helper when, when you have uh, more as your own workstation uh, to render things. But uh, yeah, it's, it's not just gone. Uh, Cinema replaced them with the new Team Renderer. Ta da! <laughs> and this is what I like to, to show uh, you uh, in this little episode. Uh, it's a Team Renderer, yeah. Okay, I prepare, of course, uh, this fantastic little scene. Uh, it's, uh, it's always just a cloner with some primitives and the physical sky uh, random effect on it. We get this. So, that's the way you know I hit rendering, uh, the picture viewer opens, and it renders. Okay. So, but what can I do if I have a whole studio full of high performance uh, render clients? Yeah, the problem is uh, I'm, I'm at my home office right now and didn't have powerful render clients, just my uh, little MacBook. It's an old one, so very, very unperformed. Uh, but okay, I try to show you the functionality. Um, okay, so the new, the new thing is when you hit this render button, you see Team Render Machines. Switch on. Uh, my local machine is still activated, and uh, because uh, my computers are Macintosh, so uh, this bonjour. Uh, functionality is per default on. On PC uh, you can install it via uh, QuickTime or, or when you install iTunes uh, always is Bonju uh, included and this little uh, networking, uh, ad hoc networking algorithm or something uh, makes a connection. Yeah, so there is no complicated network setup uh, like in the uh, old net renderer, you just switch on the, the cinema version on your computer and give uh, the other machines uh, just a client. Yeah? And this works uh, very easy, you just copy your cinema installation to, to maybe to the desktop, desktop of a uh, other computer, rename uh, CPD application in client and Cinema will start as client. So, and I did it uh, with my MacBook, and uh, here is the uh, information. So, and it's uh, not connected right now, so I have to verify it. So, and what I'd like to show you is um, how it looks <laughs> on my MacBook. <laughs> so, I hope it's, it's visible. So, you, you hopefully see this is a client, it's just a window with text, and uh, you're normally do um, sorry the application preferences and uh, in the preferences is the team render thing and there is a security key automatically generated and the security key is oh no now you will see my security key. So that's it. Now the the uh, notebook is connected to Team Renderer and ready for rendering. Is this great? Uh, no, it's not great, but because you can see, it's an old uh, dual core 2.4 gigahertz. It's not very powerful, but we will see what's happened. Okay, and now when I still uh, like to render my scene, I not. Uh, get the normal uh, render to picture viewer, I get team render to picture viewer. So, and what you see right now is uh, two buckets. Ah, interesting. No, four buckets. Very interesting. So, and <laughs> the, the four buckets uh, on the corner are for my fast iMac, and the little slow one this is for my very, very slow notebook. But you see, uh, it's it's very cool because all your uh, clients and your network rendering on one frame. 
That means uh, when you have to uh, to do very uh, high risk pitches or something, you can use all the power in your studio at once, and it's very great. So and it's very uncomplicated. Yeah, it's it's uh, in, in the old version uh, net rendering. You have to to copy your word scene in a special folder and uh, installing the net and, and do things. And now it's all inside cinema. Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> okay, um, and the, the, the next thing is... Moment. So I uh, switched on... Uh, I do a great animation, like this, okay. <laughs> and uh, say, okay, uh, make me this... Uh, 25 frames uh, animation, and in this case, I switch off GI uh, to, to be a bit faster. In this case, it works very interesting. Again, team render over picture viewer. Yes, so and um, in the first moment, it's, it's a bit uh, strange because uh, he starts with uh, frame 10, yeah, but uh, the way is off. Um, it gives uh, the first half of the frames to the first client and uh, the next half of the frames to, to my local machine. My local machine is very, very fast, yeah? I, see can, I can see the previews and the uh, uh, dual core notebook just uh, <laughs> rendering one frame at the same time. So what you see is um, it's uh, always better to have uh, a, a powerful client. So, and, but in this case, uh, it's, it's very interesting because um, uh, in, in, in the past, it's, it's always interesting to have a very powerful uh, workstation, yeah, to to speed up your editor renderings and something. But nowadays, uh, it can change because uh, um, it's enough when you have a, a cool uh, single core performance um, workstation. That, that means uh, you didn't need. Uh, 8, 12, or 16 cores in your workstation, maybe just uh, a very powerful but cheaper uh, 4 core uh, thing uh, where the performance per single core is very, very high, so you can work fast and everything. And when it comes to rendering, you just put some cheap uh, clients uh, without graphic cards or something or, or disk space. Uh, just uh, very cheap clients in your network and uh, your render performance is very high. So it's, it's, a, it's a very interesting uh, concept for the future maybe. So, and yeah, that's an animation. Animation is ready and very easy to do too. Yeah, you can see uh, in, in this case uh, when you do an animation, the the frames are split between the uh, render clients. This is uh, more or less similar to um, the behavior from, from the net renderer, yeah, where every client uh, doing this part of the whole animation. But the, the great, great benefit is when you just single one frame, every <laughs> client doing this frame. Yeah? And that means you can do in the future Put all the heavy performance needed stuff in global elimination, ML occlusion, very reflection, refraction, and something in every picture you do. <laughs> okay, so um, so and when you like the functionality that you can uh, render just a bunch of scenes uh, uh, and and go home like in the uh, old net renderer, you can of course use uh, this. Uh, Render cube behavior from from Cinema 4D. Uh, it's still in all the versions, but now you can use it via Team just with this hit of the mouse or oh, or the stick. <laughs> okay, just with the mouse click. And now um, you start uh, the the job rendering. Uh, okay, I duplicate sizes. Start rendering. Zack and oh, it's rendered just one frame. I have to say uh, all frames, save, so, because it's, it's like the, um, 
like the Netrunner thing, uh, you can give them uh, more different files. Uh, you can try to find something else. I'm inclusion test animation, okay. The team. So I think it's 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 very nice. And uh, the various uh, uploading, downloading, copying from this machine to this machine is gone. Yeah. You're working uh, like you have just your computer and uh, the connection to the clients is very easy. And uh, you now can uh, render stills with the whole network power you have. The only thing is um, the team render very, very benefits from uh, a very fast network, yeah? Um, because uh, uh, there is now um, more traffic on the way because the, the the whole scene files and buckets are streamed to to the host uh, server application, and uh, so uh, keep this in mind. Uh, it's uh, when you have very large jobs, uh, don't use uh, your wireless connection or something. Yeah, good old wires and fast cables. <laughs> okay, this is team runner. And besides, um, a, a little uh, nice thing you, you maybe noticed um, um, in, in the physical runner. This moment, I just switch back to the old one. You get this with the normal uh, runner, and then we switch to physical. There's a new option. Besides, uh, physical runner uh, gets a new algorithm that's um, used uh, some fancy Intel processor uh, CPU inside, make it faster thing. <laughs> so physical runner uh, is now very faster than before. And you have uh, this quick preview mode. That means when you hit rendering, zack. You become a very, very raw and blocky, but very quick preview of your scene. And it's very great uh, um, when you are in the stage of, of lightning and texturing your scene. Um, before you have to wait the whole rendering to, to see it, but normally you, you just see uh, more and more of, of your picture up here. Uh, now you see the whole scene, and, and uh, that uh, could be very helpful to working very, very fast. and and set up a new scene. Yeah, okay. And the rest of the new global elimination things in Cinema R15 is in the next episode. <laughs> See you there. Oh, what I forget uh, when I forget something about the team runner. So please uh, don't be shy, ask me questions, uh, I will answer them, and subscribe to the channel. You know. Bye-bye.